looking forward to the uh, matchup against Minnesota. They're a good offensive team. They run the ball really good. They got two really good backs. The lines working together in conjunction, and um, they got some two pretty good skill guys on the outside. That uh, so they're they're a handful on offense. It'd be a good challenge for us. Is, is Cook as good as you'll see? He's playing really good. I mean, he's you know he you know he was they were giving up some cutback lanes last week, and you know he can hit the one cut. You know um, how they read their runs. You can see what he's seeing, and um, he's a physical runner when he gets you know obviously. I'm, it gets close to the sideline, but he's got an extra gear that he can he can get loose on. So we got to make sure we got to hem him up. Maybe the second half against Denver, and even then it wasn't a lot. You guys have really been good against the run so far. Is it just as simple as guys maintaining their gaps and doing their jobs? Yeah, it is. I mean, you got to play blocks. You got to have the you know up front. You got to have proper hand placement, foot footwork to do that. And we spent a lot of time, obviously, in the uh, spring and training camp working on those things up front. And the linebackers got to um, get downhill when they can. Um, based upon the front structure and uh, make sure we're taking double teams off the D-line so that it can penetrate. Is that even more of a big deal when, they, they, when it's a cutback style team? Yeah, like it's a zone run, zone run scheme. You know, um, Gary Kubiak's over there, so it's very similar to what he was doing in Denver and Baltimore. So I'm you know, familiar with him, played coach against him a lot. So it's a, it's a good offense. Good, the play action's off it. All, it's all good stuff. Let's talk about miscommunications being a problem, especially in the second quarter. This was some of the big plays last last week. What did you see just during that stretch? Is well, it, we just it... we just didn't we didn't play good enough. We didn't cover them good enough. Um, they're a good team. I give them credit. Um, so we just got to do a better job of covering the guys, really. But um, you know, I'm not really thinking about that now. I'm really thinking about Minnesota right now. But we just got to do a better job covering, and they they just they just beat us on some one on one matchups. So it's we got to get better at that. I know you're, uh, you're you're concerned with the other side of the ball, but you work with Mike Zimmer. Yep. And uh, for a guy that has that kind of a defensive system, and to have I think one guy's in his first year there, one guy's in his third, and everybody else there has been there for yeah. quite a while. What does that do for a defense? Well, you know, obviously, you, when when things come up on Sundays, you can recall different situations. You know, we're we're in that beginning stage right now. You know, with some of the newer guys we had, and that was one of the things I said to him. Uh, on Monday after the game is, hey, the longer we work together, the more we can recall things. Um, and it's easier to install different concepts when, when the guys already have uh, have this, the system down. So it's uh, the systems are very similar. I mean, obviously, he's doing his wrinkles. I'm doing mine. But uh, um, Zim's a good coach. I learned a lot from him. Worked together uh, a lot, long time in Cincinnati. We had a, a really good time. He's a good friend. There's a lot of the stuff that you do and believe in now from him. I mean, obviously, you've done your own twists. And your yeah, own yeah, yeah. This, this, the foundation of it came from him for sure. You know, the coverage, the fronts, all the stuff we do. Um, you know, I owe him a lot of uh, a lot of gratitude for working with him. I learned a lot from him. But uh, I'm going to try to kick his ass on Sunday. <laughs> you had that Worley Summit safety last Sunday. Is that a guy you can move around a little bit? Or what do you see him as being? For? Yeah, you know, he, he he's he's a versatile guy. You know, and uh, he's a taller guy, so it was you know. Getting him in on some matchups in there was some of the things we worked on um, because he does he does understand how to play safety, how to play inside, and the run fits and all that stuff. So he's a smart guy that can handle those kind of things, and uh, he did a pretty good job there. Where did you see that Adam Mo the first couple of weeks? And what more do you need to get out of him? Um, just continue to get better and you keep you know understanding when you have the one on ones and the play actions to get off and work edges a little bit better. I think that's really across the board with our front. You know, some, some, someone's going to get doubled in there, and they got to push the pocket. Whoever's getting the one-on-one's got to work edges to get to the quarterback on his early downs. When you get sacks on early downs, you know, you get them, th you get them off schedule, you get them in third and long. That's critical. Another question, but John said you guys need to get a little bit more out of Arden. What have you seen from him the first couple of weeks? Yeah, he's just got to continue to get there. I mean, he's he, he's getting close each and every week. He's just, you know, it's it's going to come. You can't – it's a lot like turnovers. You know, everyone's saying hey, you turnovers, but – you know, one of the things I always said, if, if you just keep, if you're in position, you're doing the things the right way, turnovers and sacks and those type of things come in bunches. So don't press, um, just keep keep working your techniques, keep working your, your moves and uh, get off the ball. What about Hankins? It seems, uh, John had mentioned his, his factor grade was the term that, that he used. He, even though there are not a lot of stacks, he's making an impact inside. No doubt. I mean, he's a, he's a load in there and he can move. He's a, he's a big athletic guy um, who's playing some on third down for us now. So he's shown uh, in, the, in the training camp that he can rush. So um, not only he's just not this big nose that's wadding things in there, he can play the run and, and rush on. Going back to Arden, he didn't play a lot. Is that uh, based on the results or based on the scheme? or the No, matchups just or the way we were rolling guys through. 
you know, we got, we're, like I said, we're set up a little bit differently now. We have more ends where we can roll through, so we're trying, we're trying to even out the numbers as much as we can so we can get guys uh, fresh on the rush. Hey Raider Nation, if you like that video, please hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any of our exclusive content, behind the scenes footage, and more. Go Raiders.